Hello and welcome to the 2018 IWLCA Division I All-America Show. I am Hallie Quillen and Griggs, joined by Megan Clothier. And we're thrilled to be unveiling the Division I All-American third team. We will be releasing the Division I first and second teams later on. 48 athletes in total have earned All-America laurels this spring, with 16 landing on each team. Here's a look at the IWLCA Division I third team starting on the attack. Eight attackers landed on the Division I All-American third team. Kayleen Hart is coming off her second consecutive national championship run with the Boston College Eagles in 2018. The senior earned IWLCA first team all-region honors and was named to the ACC's second team after posting career highs in all three offensive categories this spring with 57 goals and 28 assists for 85 points. Ella Hazar became UNC's all-time leader in career assists this spring, setting the mark at 121. The senior also holds Carolina's record for assists in a game after dishing out eight against Northwestern in the regular season. Hazar is a reigning IWLCA All-American after landing on the first team in 2017 and departs Chapel Hill as the only player in school history to compile 100 career assists. Selena Lasota returned to the field for Northwestern at full strength in 2018 after missing the majority of last season due to injury. The redshirt junior led the Wildcat offense with career highs in goals and points. A unanimous All-Big Ten selection, Lasota led Northwestern back to the NCAA quarterfinals for the first time since 2015. Her nine goals versus Richmond set an NCAA single-game record, while her 22 goals in just three games tied the record for goals in a single NCAA tournament. Grace Nolan departs UConn as one of the best to ever take the field in Storrs, Connecticut. A three-time IWLCA first-team all-region selection, the Big East Attacker of the Year finished fourth in the NCAA with six points per game. This spring, the senior became the Big East's all-time points and goals leader with 150 and 90, respectively. Taryn O'Miller makes her second straight appearance on the IWLCA third team, helping Stony Brook to the NCAA's only unbeaten regular season in 2018 and an NCAA quarterfinal appearance. The sophomore posted 107 points this spring on a balanced 52 goals and 55 assists before an ACL tear sidelined her in late May. Livy Rosenzweig earned Patriot League Rookie of the Year honors after posting a breakout freshman season for Loyola in 2018. Rosenzweig became the first Greyhound in school history, male or female, to record at least 100 points in a single season, tallying 55 goals and 47 assists to going along with 89 draw controls. The talented rookie also became the first player in Patriot League history to earn eight weekly honors from the league's office. Sister Gabby Rosenswag was named a first-team All-Ivy selection after tying Penn's program record with 85 points this season. The sophomore had at least one point in all 19 games this spring, finishing with 49 goals and 36 assists. Heading into her junior campaign, she's already ranked number 14 all-time in the Quakers' record books in points and currently ranks number 2 and 4 in all-time assists and goals in a season after her performance this spring. And Holly Turner rounds out this year's IWLCA Division I third team. The UMass senior led the A-10 in points and assists this spring, finishing with 42 goals and 51 assists. One of the top all-time players in UMass history, she ranks second in career points with 280 and seventh in goals with 137. Turner holds the program record for assists with 143 and departs Amherst a two-time IWLCA All-Region selection as well. Megan, eight attackers in total, earning third-team All-America honors, all incredibly deserving, mm -hmm. and many for the first time in their career. But one family in particular has to be pretty pleased. I mean, they're just cleaning up those rose and swigs. <laughs> I mean, they have been so awesome to watch, both for Penn and Loyola, respectively. Just incredibly dynamic players, both of them. Uh, Gabby finishing this year with 49 goals and 36 assists, while Livy had 55 goals, 47 assists, and 89 draw controls. Just incredible. And both teams have such firepower. So for these two to be leading both teams in points in the season, pretty remarkable. And I'm sure it's 
pretty nice that they decided to go to school. I mean, obviously, Baltimore, Philadelphia, not too far nope. apart. Um, parents able to to attend both games, yeah. which is awesome. And, uh, you know, a, a player I really like to see, two players actually in particular, mm -hmm. on these teams, Kayleen Hart and Grace Nolan, uh, for two pretty different reasons. Kayleen Hart, I think that she really took advantage of Kenzie Kent not playing for Boston College this year, mm -hmm. assuming a leadership position. Um, when you look at BC's wins over, especially Princeton, in the NCAA tournament, mm -hmm. I think Kayleen Hart's performance was huge. And, you know, she had some great performances in the ACC tournament as well. Mm -hmm. And then Grace Nolan out of UConn, I think that this is kind of a career award for her. Um, she's the best to ever put on a UConn jersey. Big East attacker of the year, breaking multiple Big East scoring records. Um, you know, I'm really happy to see her kind of get the credit that where it's due. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I'm just happy. I always love seeing seniors go out with an exclamation point. Absolutely. Um, well, congratulations to all eight third-team All-America honorees. Now here's a look at the Division I third-team midfield. Kerrigan Miller was named the first ever Pac-12 Midfielder of the Year in 2018 to piggyback off a first year campaign where she was chosen as the MPSF's Freshman of the Year. An IWLCA all-region selection, Miller led the Pac-12 in cause turnovers with 40 this spring, in addition to leading USC with 49 points. The sophomore was second on the team in draws with 48 and third with 38 ground balls. Sammy Mueller followed up her ACC Freshman of the Year season to lead UVA's offensive charge in 2018. The sophomore IWLCA All-Region honoree posted a team-high 59 goals to go along with 15 assists for a team-high 74 points this spring. Additionally, she picked up 34 ground balls, 81 draws, and caused 15 turnovers for the Cavaliers. And Sydney Pereca rounds out the third-team midfield corps. The Florida junior earned Big East Co-Midfielder of the Year honors, helping guide the Gators to a 17-4 record and the team's first NCAA quarterfinal appearance since 2014. The junior posted 53 goals and 68 total points in 2018, acting as team co-captain this spring. Pereka tallied her 100th career goal this season, becoming only the 11th player in program history to do so. Congratulations to all three midfield honorees. And, and Megan, when I look at this group, I think what's most exciting, um, probably more exciting for the programs than absolutely. the players themselves, um, all three of these players returning next yeah, year. Absolutely. Very excited to see their continued growth uh, within the next year and awesome for them to be recognized this year as well. And right there, a pair of uh, inside lacrosse top recruits, too. Mm -hmm. Kerrigan Miller out at USC, Sydney Pereka down in Florida. I'm really excited to see what those players and Sammy Mueller throw her into the mix do um, because some of those programs up and down years. Absolutely. Um, you know, I'm excited to see. I think Miller will have USC kind of firing on all cylinders mm -hmm. next year. They want back in the NCAA tournament. And Sammy Mueller, once again, kind of a wave for Virginia. Mm -hmm. The ACC was a gauntlet this year, but expect her, players like Maggie Jackson, to really step up for the who's and Sydney Pereka. I mean, this is the first year in what three years? Um, kind of a throwback to high school. She won't be playing with her sister, right? Um, so you know, obviously Lindsay Ronbeck and her two of the top players coming in in that that recruiting class. Crazy to think four years ago. Yeah. Um, but but Sydney and Shayna Pereka played their last game uh, at the end of the season. Yeah. So shaking it up, we've kind of done this for a few of the videos mm -hmm. now. I'm going to hand it over to you, okay. and you are going to announce the IWLCA Division One. All-America team, defender, and goalie. Yep. Go. Okay, here they are. <laughs> <laughs> Kayla Brizolari emerged as one of Penn State's top playmakers this spring as the junior defender was named All-Big Ten honoree and ranked second on the Nittany Lions step charts in both draws and cause turnovers with 76 and 24, respectfully. Her 23 ground balls were good for fourth. Brizolari also acted as team's co-captain this season. Lizzie Colson stormed onto the scene in 2018, playing a crucial role on the Maryland defense and draw team this spring. Colson's 39 ground balls and 23 cause turnovers were both team highs this spring, as her 91 draws were best for second on the Terrapin depth charts behind Callie Hartshorn's 139. The sophomore earned all Big Ten honors for the first time in her career after being named the conference's Defensive Player of the Week on four separate occasions this season. Julia Massaro set a Stanford program record with 86 draw controls in 2018, leading the Cardinals to its first ever Pac-12 championship. Massaro also ranked second on the team with 39 ground balls and third with 18 caused turnovers. The junior earned IWLCA All-Region honors for the first time in her career as well. 
Tiana Walfer captained the Towson Tigers in 2018 and was often referred to as the heart of the defensive core that many regarded as one of the top in the country in 2018. The senior was named All-CAA First Team Honoree, finishing second on the team, fifth in the CAA, and 20th nationally in cause turnovers per game, while also ranking fourth in program history with 42 cause turnovers. Walford departs Towson a three-time All-CAA selection and a two-time IWLCA All-Region honoree. And in goal, Maryland junior Megan Taylor earns All-American honors for the second straight year. Taylor earned her third straight Big Ten Goalkeeper of the Year honor in 2018 and now earns her second consecutive IWLCA All-American nod. Taylor helped guide the Terps to the NCAA semifinals this spring, posting a 47.7 save percentage and a 9.94 goals against average. Taylor also scooped up 14 ground balls. Megan, I know from uh, covering alongside you this year's IWLCA weekly show, um, you know, you're a big fan. You, you were a goalie in college. Disclaimer, goalie <laughs> over here. Um, but, but you're a big fan of Megan Taylor. I am a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of anyone in goal who plays the way that she does. She's just so technically sound, explosive, just plays a really solid game in cage. And she's a player that somehow as the spotlight, as the tensions, as everything gets harder, she gets better. Yeah. She gets calmer. She gets more relaxed. And in turn, Maryland defense feeds off of it. The entire Maryland team feeds off it. She's someone who... It, I believe, is the heartbeat of this team and is the kind of the barometer of where they're going to go. And she's just really making goalies everywhere proud, continuing to. So keep it up, Megan. And um, I really, I mean, I love, uh, Megan Taylor was incredible. I think that Navy game, too. Absolutely. She just really flexed her muscles, mm -hmm. showed what she was capable of. Um, and I love Lizzie Coulson on this list, too. I mean, you look at a defender her freshman year, I think, actually, her coming out party was in the Final Four a season ago, mm -hmm. um, just grabbing some key draw controls. But I think Lizzie Coulson, she really just turned into one of the country's top defenders. Uh, I love her 50-50 ball dominance. You know, she's getting draw controls, causing turnovers, picking up ground balls, mm. um, and, and transitioning ball at field. So I think that Maryland, they have a knack for, you know, National Defender of the Year laurels. They constantly have a defender in the Tawaratan mm -hmm. conversation. Lizzie Coulson, two years left in her career. I'm putting her on that watch. Uh, I like it. it now. Saw it here first. <laughs> uh, but congratulations to all 16 Division I third team honorees. And we will be back later on with a look at the Division I first and second teams. And for the first time ever, we will be announcing an IWLCA Player of the Year in the Division I ranks, in addition to an attacker, midfield, defender, and goalie of the year. So uh, stay tuned.